This is Fisher Flying Products. I'm Dave Hertner. Welcome to the nest. Please take the time to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. Hi everyone, Dave Hertner here, president of Fisher Flying Products. I thought I would take some time today to introduce to you uh, myself and uh, our team here at Fisher Flying Products uh, to let you know what got us into this crazy business and um, give you an, a, a sense of why we're passionate about aircraft and, and um, you know, discuss wh how, what's going on right now in these crazy times and how we're pivoting and, and, and whatnot and uh, to, to give you a sense of, of where we want to go and what we want to do and um, how we want everybody to sort of come along for the ride with us. Um, I started into the aviation business early on as a young as a young lad. I was uh, in grade seven, middle school, uh, and um, my principal at the time uh, owned a Cessna, and he decided to start uh, a aviation club. As is what happens when you get into middle school, everybody starts attending clubs. And I was fascinated with flight and at that point in time, and it had a couple of model airplanes. Uh, and so I joined that club, and lo and behold, and you couldn't do this today, but uh, back in the day, he took us he took us actually flying as part of this club, and um, we got to we got to go up on a couple of flights. And I remember uh, very very memorably uh, him taking me on a, a flight. Uh, at night and um, you know saw the stars above and the lights below and and um, phew, hooked uh, pretty much uh, was gaga over getting my pilot's license at that point in time and and uh, looked into everything that I could aviation and and uh, then when I got to high school one of the you know the, back then you you put your you put in a questionnaire and it's in the guidance department and it sort of said uh, you know what you should be when you grow up and uh, um, the uh, the big uh, one of the three choices for me was a helicopter pilot and uh, from that day on moving forward I was aviation and helicopter 100 percent and um, and went to, and found there was even a, a community college in our local area that uh, uh, provided helicopter flight training lessons and um, uh, and for a very reasonable price, um, applied uh, and for some reason didn't get in. I had the marks and whatnot, but couldn't really um, understand why it was rejected. Um, I had heard that there was a lot of industry guys that sort of came out of industry and took the courses because they, they got a fairly inexpensive helicopter ticket out of it. But uh, uh, in the end, I found out years later, uh, we our local EA or RAA chapter, which is equivalent to the EAA in the States, had a meeting at the local college, and one of the speakers at that meeting had been uh, working at the college that I was trying to get into. And I asked him, I says, you know, why didn't I get into that? And he says, well, you applied to the maintenance program, didn't you? And I said, no, just applied to the flight training program. Oh, he says, we take all the flight tra training people from the maintenance program. They wanted to make sure that they could fix it, fix the helicopters in the bush before they were flying them in the bush. But back then, pre-computers or mainframes only, uh, my guidance counselor didn't read the fine print, didn't understand that you had to take the one to get the other, and so I was precluded from being in that uh, program. Subsequently, went to university, got a job, worked 30 years, raised a family. Uh, but all the, t all the while, you know, aviation has been in my blood, and uh, I built... Uh, uh, decided after when my kids were small that I was around home and we had a little bit of uh, extra cash at that time and I, I started and I built a, a Vans RV10. Um, always been a bit of a gearhead, always been interested in in uh, in that kind of thing and so uh, we put a Corvette engine in it just for uh, giggles and um, flew it but uh, I think really um, you know, the mission profile that I had envisioned for myself and my family of uh, hopscotching all over the country with a, you know, a prime mover like a like an RV-10 <clears throat> was maybe not the right one. 
And so we made the, the hard decision to, after we had it flying and whatnot, and I had somebody who came to me and offered me uh, quite a bit of money for the airframe. And uh, we made a decision um, because that by that time I was I had purchased Fisher, Fly, Fisher Flying Products to to sell that and um, and that helped us out you know with with getting getting this business launched and and, and moving along so now now uh, I'm I'm into the into the smaller aircraft and the more the mission is the mission for these aircraft is is local flights hamburger flights fun flights and ultimately that's that's where I am now so um, th- this is why I bought Fisher Flying Products. This is why I'm passionate about flying. I, I have a lot of respect for the flying community. The, the people uh, who are pilots are some of the best people I've ever met. And um, I've made a tremendous number of friends. We've been to Oshkosh, you know, 15 or 20 years in a row. Um, I've met a lot of people who I really like and, and um, share the same passion as me. And um, that's that's voted well it's nice to work within a community that uh, that you have respect for a few years on after buying fisher flying products from paul reedlinger in toronto uh, i moved the operation to dorchester ontario just uh, southeast of london ontario and um, i was finding that i was still working full-time for for gm at the time uh, in the stamping shop at cami automotive and uh, I was sort of running this business part time with a guy that worked in the shop full time building the kits, and I was doing, you know, every other bit in every other time frame that I had, and um, I realized that I needed somebody who shared that passion with me, uh, and um, I found that person just through through sheer luck. You know, um, Leo was uh, a fellow from Belgium who who um, shared a passion for aviation, um, had his license and was worked for NATO as an air traffic controller and and um, he he came uh, to me by calling me up and saying hey you know do you need somebody to sell your airplanes in Europe and to be quite honest with you I needed somebody in the shop to make airplanes here because we were doing well enough and and uh, lo and behold Lionel um, came came he came here to work with me I'm, I'm flattered to to no end and uh, he is uh, provided a, a tremendous uh, drive to the shop floor to get things done and to to make sure that we make a good product and and to um, give great customer service in in both French and English and and uh, that's that's been you know very very helpful and on top of that we have um, Marianne who basically is our our anchor <laughs> she uh, she takes care of all the uh, the ordering and the bills and the invoicing and the you know all of the all the day-to-day uh, paperwork that that's involved in a company and so we wouldn't be anywhere without her as well so we work as a small team uh, I take care of uh, now I, I've moved into you know sales and marketing and as you can see I'm the face of the the company and um, uh, we're fortunate enough to have enough work on the board right now that we're going to be adding uh, another face to the operation. Uh, we have a fella starting uh, Monday. Uh, today's, you know, I'm recording this on Friday, but uh, we have a guy that's coming Monday, and um, he's going or sorry Tuesday. That's a holiday Monday, and uh, he's going to be starting with us working on the floor, making you know, cutting wood and making parts and learning the operation, and um, and and contributing to to a successful company. So. Um, I really want to utilize uh, this format of video blogs and newsletters to connect with people. I have, uh, with the COVID crisis out right now, you know, it precludes us from being able to go to the trade shows and, and whatnot. So we have to pivot. And pivoting means coming up with a new way that we can regularly talk and converse and I really want it to be a two-way street. I want to have feedback from you um, either directly via email to me or uh, through comments in the comments section on the YouTube channel. Um, Get your questions to me so that I can answer them for you. Um, 
I, I've done a lot of looking into, you know, why and how you do a, you know, this kind of format. And the biggest thing is, is you know, who and really who is you. Um, the, the people who are out there that are interested in flying economically, people who are interested in woodworking, people who are interested in airplanes, all come together into being interested in our kind of aircraft, low and slow. Um, we've got a lot of people that, that don't have a lot of funds, um, they, but yet they still want to fly. They, uh, the price of, of general aviation and even the price of, of experimental aircraft has gotten so that, you know, you can't get into something for, for under a hundred grand. And, and that's, that's out of reach for a lot of people and flying shouldn't be out of reach for people. And so my goal is to keep a company alive and, uh, and providing products that are going to meet that need for people to be able to get up in the air, go flying for 25 minutes in the evening um, to soothe that need that we have after flying that first time like I did with my principal. You know, everybody had the hook set at some point in time. Everybody, everybody can't wait to get back in the air. And so it's important for for me and for this company to be able to keep that alive and and keep it inexpensive. And, um, you know, we, we're doing we're doing a lot of things to try to to try to keep that from moving. You know, um, we're still in a, in a building aircraft aircraft kits that you can build and fly for under, you know, fifty thousand dollars. And, and um, you can build and fly a uh, an ultralight for for you know twenty thousand dollars, and and you can keep it economical, and you can still have that that fun, you know, because life's hard these days, and 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 um, you, we're all working hard all the time, and and we need that that little release, that that fun time to to go out and just grin and. And, you know, hopefully with the windshield, you're not eating bugs, but uh, to to come down and have that grin on your face after a good landing and after a, uh, a night where you're flying along and you can smell the grass, um, a night where you check out your, you know, what your your uh, your neighbor's having for dinner <laughs> on the barbecue smells. But that's that's the, that's the crux of it. You know, we need to get out there and fly. And we have to have a vehicle to do it that doesn't break the bank. And so our job is to, to provide that for you. Um, we're gonna, I wanna ask you for your support in exchange for my support. It's a, it's a win-win situation. Uh, if you can like and support this YouTube channel, become a subscriber, it's really important for for us to rack up a, a large number of subscribers, if you haven't, if you've already subscribed, thank you. You know, it's great that you've, you know, you're doing that. And you're getting these videos, and hopefully, uh, appreciating the, you know, what we put into them. I've, I've worked hard to try to, um, to give you good content. So, uh, and I will. I'm committing. I'm making that commitment to not only just running this company, but to communicate through good content and. Getting that good content is a two-way street. Getting that content is is having questions posed to me that I can answer, uh, or that I can discuss because I may not know the answer. Um, getting good content is is sharing your experience with me so that I can in turn share it with the greater group of people um, who have who share the same passion and really. That community is most important to us because in isolation times and all the stuff that's going on, to have a core group of people who share your passion and that you can talk to about aviation and not politics and not not job losses and not all the other crap that goes on in our lives right now, but to share the joy of aviation and the fun of building even the frustrations in building and working out issues 
is what it's all about. And if we don't do that, then we're going to be lesser people because of it. And I believe that very strongly and commit to you that I'll provide this arena, this this area that's safe to to talk about aviation, even the, you know, even the wars about what kind of covering to use or what kind of propeller to use or what kind of engine to use. It's all a safe exchange here. And it's really super important that we go forward doing that. Now, I'm going to probably be reading a little bit here because I've got a lot to, to, to get through. But um, uh, we want. I think I've nailed most of the things that, that I wanted to say. Support by watching. Oh, if you can support our videos, our channel, by watching the whole video, the way YouTube works and, and the way things um, uh, the way it works uh, f- f- to benefit us, you know, in 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 becoming a larger channel, it really helps if you watch the whole video. If you can get to the end and you click on another video, then even better. But if you can subscribe and hit the bell, which means that you're going to be notified if you have another video coming out, if we have another video out, which I try to put out a new video every week. And I'll try to do even more than that. We'll have to see how how well that goes. But ultimately, um, every week, and then tr- maybe some smaller how-to videos if 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 we can uh, get them added into the mix as well. Um, support us by buying a tail kit. You know, if you're interested in this, even mildly, the risk is low for you in purchasing a tail kit let us put something like together it's 500 bucks delivered to you it's got all the things you need in it to 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 try to build the wood ultimately wood may be enticing to a lot of people and they're afraid of aluminum but there's just as many people out there that are probably a little bit leery about working with wood and don't know how strong it is and their wife thinks that they're crazy because they want to build something out of wood and and they've only got basic woodworking skills. They've, you know, the last picture frame they put together that, you know, was a little crooked. But all of our plans, all of our all of our designs are really easy to build on on flat on a table. And by purchasing a tail kit to try it out, you really get a sense of what it's like to build the whole rest of the airplane. You really do. Every aspect of that tail kit, everything you do in it is going to show um, you and the people around you that you can build something that is strong and light. Um, support us by buying your parts through us. You know, um, I'm a small company uh, and I make probably as much money and on you know in profit from from selling uh parts to people and parts for engines like Polini engines i just took an order you know from a fella that had um had purchased a Polini engine and uh, they didn't have the 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 carburetor set properly and they burned a hole in the piston so they're rebuilding the 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 engine and i'm a Polini dealer and i can get the parts in and and so you know if if you can support us through buying parts for the for the you know your if you have an existing aircraft or you know you're buying um, an engine for an airframe that you're building you know we would appreciate we really appreciate the extra business uh, that comes our way from from part sales and support us by you know buying kits you know ultimately we you know our bread and butter is building wooden aircraft kits for 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 all of you people who are out there considering um, building an aircraft uh, we we are tremendously flexible in how we can provide those kits to you we can we can sell you a whole kit we can sell you a quick build kit we can sell partial kits um, you know we can sell sub kits uh, I have I have accommodated everyone in in their asking for um, a partial or sub kit uh, there is nothing uh, too small even down to individual pieces um, that we won't supply to you because ultimately we're you know our motto is to be our customer's hero and if we can't if we can't do that then we're not doing the right job for you so anyway long story short um, my name is Dave Hurtner I'm the president of the company and the buck stops here uh, you give me a call and um, we'll talk about airplanes uh, you're gonna see my face uh, 
on the YouTube videos, which are basically our newsletter. So on a weekly basis or even better, you're going to hear about airplanes. You're going to hear about our airplanes. You're going to hear about um, projects and you're going to hear about products that we we feel are are complementary to our aircraft. You're going to hear about processes in building our aircraft. We're going to try to educate you. We're going to try to be that central meeting place where a community rallies around a certain genre and design of aircraft. So I appreciate your time today. Uh, please, again, uh, support our videos. Uh, we're going to be here for you. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. We try hard to bring you interesting content each week. To help us out, please like and share our videos. And to receive the latest info from Fisher Flying Products, click the subscribe button and ring the bell. See you next time from the nest.